<laughs> Robin. I don't respond to the dummies anymore, but today I feel like I Jesus, have to. So don't respond to anybody. <laughs> I know, I, but I have to. <laughs> yeah. He goes, uh, you saw a movie, you liked it, and then because someone said you shouldn't, you don't. That wasn't the point I was making. My God. I, the point I was making was I think I get influenced when they treat me really well. So then I'm confused if the movie was good or not. Yeah. That was my whole point. Outside influence. Outside, right. Yeah. Because if the reviews are so bad, I'm like, oh my God, maybe the, the seats were too nice and the theater was too nice and the, and the service was too nice. If you had to drive your ass to a movie theater and, and sit in a crowded movie theater and, yeah. and, and, and do all that shit and, and right. slippery, sticky floors and all that, you'd probably be like, yeah, this movie sucks. That's, what I'm, that, that's what I'm trying to say. But they whisk you into a beautiful theater. and I'm doubting myself. Right. Like, like was it a good movie now? I don't yeah. know. I guess I would say that I still enjoyed it, but if everyone is saying how bad this movie is, I'm thinking maybe I do get influenced by the special treatment we, we get because of these jobs. I love the, the phrase there they coined a bomb com <laughs> or a rom bomb. <laughs> Either way, it works. God, is that fantastic. I'll tell you this much. I don't go to an Adam Sandler movie to watch Adam Sandler, okay? No. Nah. 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 Watch that fucking Brooklyn chick. Yeah, she you go hottie. to see her big boobies coming out of the water. She, she hot. Enough of that. But uh, Anthony, last night. Uh, oh my god, you're wheeling and dealing. You're becoming oh, a, a socialite. Boy. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're becoming a part of the fabric of Manhattan. Well, you know, uh, I've gotten on the inside here of something that um, I just I I have no clue about. Yeah. The world. Uh huh. Of New York fashion. Wow. Opie. The world of New York fashion. This is something that is going on that we're just not supposed to know about mm -hmm. or be involved in in any way, shape, or form. Um, but I am uh, 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 going out with a a runway model. That's what she does. She She's a, a model, a fashion model. And... Um, so she had, uh, uh, she went to the, the Richie Rich Billionaire 2011 collection. What's, the, what's Richie Rich? Is he a designer? This could be the gayest individual on the face of the earth <laughs> until I looked at the next guy. Did you meet Richie Rich? No. Did he come out at the end? Yes. <laughs> oh, did he come out? He came out when he was two, and then he came out at the end of the show <laughs> because, wow. Wow, he he was so gay. He came out at two years old. Holy mother of pearl! This uh, guy. I love the I love the gays that come out of the closet like eh, in their twenties because they're not eh, they're on the fence. But they're then, on the fence. But then you got the kids that come out uh, for their first birthday party. Something tells me <laughs> while everyone was learning how to uh, catch baseballs with their father, yeah. Um, this guy was at a fucking sewing machine. Oh really? Just I, stitching together dresses. I thought you were gonna <laughs> say he used his ass like a catcher's mitt. Either that or balls across the face. Whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's Richie rich on the left he dresses like richie rich from the cartoon remember the cartoon richie rich if richie rich was gay if richie, well i always assumed richie rich was a little weird in the cartoon a you little did? a little off yeah i think if he was a little older his shorts were a little too tight they called him the poor little rich kid yeah because he was richie rich i love that dumb comic growing up yeah, Richie Rich growing up, you know. It, it gave you things to think about. He it. had some cash. He was a kid. He had all nice. the good toys. It made you your dream. Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe someday I could be Richie Rich. Right. Oh, boy. But he wears that little Richie Rich hat, and, and his blonde tuft of hair comes out of the front. Okay. And uh, uh, he, he struts out on the stage. Is he, is, oh, he, yeah. is he a big designer? Uh, yeah, he, he's known for some strange designs. Real odd. Um, so this was at the, uh, Hammerstein Ballroom, or Hammerstein. How did we decide that was pronounced? Oh, my God. Remember those days? Hammerstein? Hammerstein? What is it? Frankenstein? Yeah, Frankenstein. Hammerstein. So Hammerstein. Uh, it was there. And, uh, it was star-studded. But I couldn't tell you one person, but they're all famous. In that in, world? In that world that we don't know about. There is, yeah, Richie Rich is getting a little old these days, by the way, too. Uh, he's not quite the rich. The, the, the wait, what was the, the first poor picture? Little rich kid, a young uh, Richie Rich. That was a little younger, yeah. But Richie Rich up close. What is he known for? For being a designer. He's a. But what is it? Designer. Yeah, but like, because he's so out there and and dude, he's, are people wearing his shit? 
I guess so. This it is, it is just... It's a world I don't know about. Well, we're trying to learn a little. I fucking walked through the looking glass. <laughs> I swear I fell down the rabbit hole last night. I fell down the rabbit's asshole last night. And I saw a world that, if I wasn't going out with this girl, would never know about. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There is a gay culture and subculture and everything that you just, you wouldn't know. Were there straight people there at all? Me. Literally? Me. That was it? Me. You know what the, one of the big celebrities that was there that was just getting photographed and that? The cowboy from the village people. <laughs> Complete with the big mustache and he was wearing his cowboy hat and he's walking around with chaps. <laughs> and, and he was like the hit. Everyone loves the cowboy from the village people. It's unbelievable. And uh, there were these drag queens and, and and trannies, big fat ones, dressed in goth gear. And every guy was gay. And every model was hot. So your, your girl is uh, working. Work, yeah. So were you just trying to blend in? I was what tweeting you... her uh, when she could tweet because right. she was backstage. Yeah. And uh, I was just like, were you just looking down a lot? Is the gay no? Because oh, that's where all the cocks are. <laughs> I was trying to look up as much as Why, I were, could. Were there cocks on display? Oh, gee, literally, <laughs> really on display. <laughs> Jesus. This Richie Rich guy, he's got the girls come out. Uh -huh. You know, the models all come out in his uh, his billionaire. Which I don't know what that even means, but it's something I don't know. But his Billionaire 2011 collection. And all the girls come out and they do their snotty model walks, which is hysterically funny. Why do they have to look snotty? I never understood that. It's just a look that they give. They walk to the end of the runway and, and their photographers were... That'd be fucking 50 photographers with those giant lenses and everything. And just bam, 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 lights start fucking going off like crazy. And the model turns their head, they give that snotty look, and then they whip their ass around and fucking walk back like, fuck you. Is that be so they don't take away from the clothes? Uh, yeah, I think they're supposed to just look, look kind of like, they have to, they have, have to have to have attitude. They don't want to look better. So the clothes have attitude. They don't want to look better than the clothes, They're right? supposed to walk like they're, they have attitude, and so it gives the clothes a certain attitude. Okay. And, uh, it was really funny to see Melissa do it, because... She's not that type of person. But she knows how to do but the But she, uh, all of a sudden, and it was the first time I ever saw her do runway, uh, a fashion show like that. And I was like, I, all I'm thinking is, who the fuck is that? Because she's normally really funny and, and shit. And she puts this snotty fucking look on and just stops and the piercing eyes and spins around and walks away. I was like ready to just get up and leave and go, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck what are you mad at? Life. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? I was what did I do? It's like, fuck you. I didn't right. do shit. Right. <laughs> Give me that fucking face. <laughs> then I realized, oh. oh, oh she's oh, just doing she's her model to, thing. Oh, <laughs> I get it. That's hilarious. Jesus Christ. Is that her? That's a snotty walk. Yeah. Is that from? What is that from? <laughs> is that last night? Yeah, that's yeah. her. Looking good. How the hell did you find that? Danny's amazing. I went to your girlfriend's Facebook page. Oh, and they put it up there. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. So where were you sitting? I was I was behind everybody. Behind all I, the photographers. Where I'd be safe. I made sure to sit in the last row, so I didn't have any weenies behind me. <laughs> <laughs> It was, uh, you know what I mean. yeah, I, I was sitting in the back, but I got up and I, I took some vid video, some video. So when you get there, what happens? Uh, first you of all, go right to the bar? Yeah, yeah, I made a beeline for the bar. There's a, a Bride of Frankenstein hair that some of these chicks had, big cotton candy hair. So uh, first, there was a giant crowd in front of the place because they hadn't opened the doors yet. So I'm in this massive crowd of gayness. Oh, shit. Uh, you got AIDS. And then, I don't, I don't know. You might have. Anyone I don't know. breathe on you? Yeah. Oh, boy. And it was freezing out, yet I was warm in this sea of homosexuality <laughs> that I was in. And uh, <laughs> The sea of love. The sea of love. And the doors would open for a little while, and they'd let like five people in. And there's hundreds and hundreds of people by the doors. And there's three separate doors. And finally walked in. Yeah, there she's doing her snotty walk. 
her strut walk. Um, so I, I finally get in and make a beeline right for the bar and then found my seat. Some of the chairs were turned upside down. <laughs> that old gag, I can't get off of it. But, uh, yeah, she's wearing a completely see-through top. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say her. her. I can see her boobies. It's so funny. It's like, oh, but it's a model, so that's okay. Oh, yeah, she's just strutting. Uh, and and, and I, I, I took my seat and just looked around and was like... And then this Richie Rich guy comes out. At the end. With guys that look like they they... They should have been on, st stranded on a desert isle and just took their clothes off. And they were covered in, like, this mud makeup and, and like, like two lines down their face. What does that mean? With the, I don't know! But they so had gotta explain giant what that means. cocks. They, they were wearing the littlest, tiniest thongs were they, uh, that went up their asses. Right. And the front was just a bulge. Is it a fake bulge, you think? No, no, this is all the real deal. Yeah. Because you could tell it was like they, they would get to the top of the stairs, which was they had to go down the stairs before they hit the runway. And uh, they, they, they would get to the top of the stairs, and one guy would just kind of stop there and do this pose on the banisters and then grab this fucking package and jiggled it a little. And, and you just heard, woo, like the gayest woo. Oh, it wasn't the women wooing? No. Oh, what the, the fuck? Guys what were a weird all wooing. And, and what, what the hell were they selling? I don't know, but they... they was that, What was part of the Richie Rich collection if they're not wearing anything? Uh, that was just for eye candy. Oh. Uh. Like, they weren't selling anything. They were just there for, to, to whoop up the crowd. Oh. So they walk out, and there was a <laughs> tranny doing interpretive dance on that? the runway. And then this guy with the giant cock <laughs> yeah. in the, the ball bag goes up. They give each other a sensuous look in the eyes and start making out. And again, woo, everyone's wooing. And I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> Holy shit. It was the gayest thing I've ever been involved in. Gary <laughs> the Bronx, right? Well, he's on the line. I don't have time for fucking calls. I don't want to talk to anyone today. He, he, he says, did Ann feel like a pageant mom? Are you like a pageant mom now? I was like a pageant mom. Are you going to be dragged to all this stuff? Toddlers and tiaras. <laughs> right. Woo! Go, girl! So they're making out and everyone's wooing. They, yeah, they're making out. Everyone wooing. Were you looking for the exit? And that, no, there were plenty of entrances. <laughs> because it was <laughs> flaming in there. Yes. <laughs> Fire hazard. Oh. It was... Uh, One serious question. Yeah. Uh, you go to something like that. Yeah. Because I, I love I love when you watch people debate about homosexuality. I'm not going to debate you. And and, uh, <laughs> and they're like, and there's a lot of people out there that don't think you're born gay. Yeah. But all yeah. you have to do is be in a situation like that, and there's no doubt in your mind that people are born gay. You can't make that shit up. You can't. No, you can't just go through life and then go, I'm going to be gay, so I'll make up this. Right, but these no. idiots on TV were like, oh, you know, yeah, that, it's a choice and blah. No, man. Nah. People are born that way. It's no. so obvious. Definitely. Matter of fact, Lady Gaga's new song is called Born This Way. Lady Gaga has we're, a new song. Well, huh? we're, but we're not done with you. Oh, right? please, no. But there's no doubt in your, your mind that people are born gay, no right? No doubt in my mouth? What were you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, it is a gay I, thing. I, I think I, there's people that would yeah. adjust uh, depending on uh, their uh, their situation. Like the uh, most obvious one, you go to prison, and I think some people might adjust. I think people also, there's, there's gay guys that want to be part of the gay movement, the gay society, mm. uh, the gay lifestyle that weren't maybe born gay, right? but maybe like just kind of want to be yeah. gay. They want to be gays, so they kind of turn gay maybe, but they're know. not real gay. I think, but the, to be I, born gay, that's, I think, that's your majority of gay. I th yeah, I think it's complicated. I'm not going to try to say it's not, but... Yeah. You go to one of these events and you're like, all right, obviously people, there's definitely people that are born gay. Yeah. And a lot of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking Johnny Weir walked through this place uh, about a month ago now, Sirius XM, and uh, holy, you can't, you can't turn into that. No, no, that's a whole look. I almost called security because I thought like some stalker woman was in the bathroom. I, I know, yeah. It's like, what is this chick doing in the men's room? I really thought a chick was in the, in the men's oh. room, which you would think is, would be a, an okay situation, yeah. but, but. 
Johnny Weir is not an okay looking chick. Was he <laughs> was he skating on the fucking slippery floor in he there? He had high heels on. Oh, God. and some kind of look fucking fur. Look at how that. much how much action has that ass seen? Do you think? Jesus. We're, we're looking at a picture of Johnny Weir. He's got a nice body. Get Johnny Weir, I said. He does have a great ass. <laughs> how the fuck does he still skate? I don't know. <laughs> Gee, ooh. ow. But Listen anyway, so so you're there. Yeah, so it was the gayest thing, and and and, and Richie Rich, who apparently I guess I'm, I'm reading here was a, a well known, one of the most known raver kids. Did he used to do those raver shows? Holy on, on like, shit! I thought I recognized. Yeah, yeah. Him. He used to do those rave shows when they had the rave kids and the um, yeah, yeah, club yeah, yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. He was a club. On Sally kid. Jesse, they'd have club kids. Yes, because we used to talk about club kids. Uh, yeah, yeah. Years ago, so annoying. I thought he looked familiar. He yeah, he's put been on in raves the, and things. He's been in the media. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, he comes out with the guys with the cocks. And, and then there was uh, there was like every white uh, uh, guy's nightmare. Some black Adonis comes down the stairs. He's it, 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 it looked like he should have been one of the 300. Wow. He, he just comes comes out and, and again, just flaming. And he's at the end. And again, a woo from... Uh, from all the guys, mm. uh, and I'm just texting away. I, I'm tweeting away. <laughs> I, I Are you almost done? <laughs> my my battery power on my fucking cell phone's going out, if, and I'm just like, oh god. If I stay please. stay here any longer, I might be gay. Can we get out of here? I know. <laughs> gay spores were everywhere. <laughs> right. Gay spores were in the right. air. I didn't know what to do. It's like catching a cold. You might catch the gay I if you stay catch there the too gay. long. <laughs> yeah, it was home mold. <laughs> the gay spores were coming off of home mold. <laughs> Did you have a conversation with anyone? Yeah, my chick. Oh, with the tweeting. After, I mean, with, with, with the, tweeting. Uh, the texting, right? No, I, I, and, and the, uh, a girl that was behind the bar. She was. Uh, I, at least I think it was a girl. You don't know, I was right? like, No, she was. She Coming was. For those but Adam's I, was like, I just kept going up to the bar and going, you know, accurate. Give me another uh, Bud Light, please. And uh, uh, yeah, it was really gay. Um, it was. It was. Uh, and then, and, and then, uh, when they were done, uh, Melissa came out, and we were just looking at the place filing out right. to let some people leave. And the kisses that these guys give each other goodbye is just crazy. Air kisses? Like no, no. Some of them are just the air kisses, mwah, mwah, on the well, two cheeks, like very fucking European mm -hmm. and other ones it was full open mouth kissing damn between men damn I'm just looking going this is and, and the whole thing is is the, my whole thing was looking around going I would never know anything of this world like to them this was like a huge night for them right a huge night how many how many guys have you kissed or kissed you None. I, none. I'm, I, like my father when I was a kid, and you'd, you'd say bye, good night, daddy. I'm up to two. <laughs> You're up to two. Yes. It, it better be your grandfather. Don't and your turn father. off the show after me saying that. Let me explain. <laughs> Let me explain. And there was also a time where my grandma said, "Close your mouth." But and that's a true story too. I was too young to understand. Yeah. My, you know, she said something like, "Kiss Grammy," and I, I, I went. I, I started. Kissing her, and I had my mouth open. She you, yelled you, at me you, to close my mouth. Yeah, right? you almost open but mouth kissed young. your Grammy. No, my dad would kiss me. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and Brother Weeze. Brother the, Weeze, a little kiss hello. But that, what yeah. is that? One of those little, like, a, a, a hug kind of a thing. And then you go, hey, you pat on the back and give kind of a... Yeah, but what he, was it? Open mouth, tongue kissing. Uh, it was open mouth, <laughs> I, one or the other. One is kind of acceptable. Hey, he had especially he had cancer. I said, okay, you know, whatever it takes to keep him happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love the brother ways. Now, you know, you know fucking cheek shit. But. And family too, like but, like. Uh, but it was acceptable. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, I can I can handle a kiss from you there. Yeah, yeah. Ways. We're that close now. There is an Italian family thing too with the certain uncles and stuff and. Uh, Things you, that you you know you give the pat on the back and kind of the you know ah hey right mm -hmm. but they kiss yeah, it's like a little uh, almost hey. like cheek yeah almost like cheek not quite co making contact yeah but it's like a you know nah the brother we think could be confused as possibly uh, yeah a bit uh, homo a bit a bit gay yeah but I was yeah. I was like nah it's it's brother we yeah he's like a father friend fucking brother to me so yeah and I think my brother Scott kissed me too. 
Because he's trying to be the, the kissing guy in my kissing family. Kissing guy? Yeah. Now, so brother I, would be, that's very odd. I'm up to three. You're up to three men. <laughs> three three grown, men have kissed Three me. grown men <laughs> when you were a grown man. <laughs> right. <laughs> three men. I'm three. up to three. <laughs> <laughs> So gay. Yeah. So they were so the kissing was a little weird at the end of it. Yeah, yeah, the kissing. And then uh Did you just go back to the hotel and have heterosexual sex to get it all out? I had to. (laughs) It's like I had to just reinforce my heterosexuality. You just had to get the brain wired Uh, back properly. I I had to get the gay images out of my head. (laughs) It was just insanity. Uh yeah. We we uh we get down, we we left and uh Keith, the cop who was supposed to come in uh, with me, didn't even make it through the front door. Really? He was like, ah, I'm, I'm, ah, I'm, I'm bailing on this. I'm out here. I'm bailing on this. I'm going to the precinct. So he just hung out there and then came back when, when it was done and picked us up and drove us back to the hotel. Are you, are you glad you did it, though? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, you know, I, well, I, I like I, checking shit out. I would, I, I would definitely check that out. Believe me, if it, wa- if I, if it wasn't for Melissa, I wouldn't, oh, you would never I would do never it, have gone right, to right. one of these things. Of course. And, uh, like, she's got another one tonight and then another one uh, next Thursday and maybe more in between that. But I, I, I'm not going to those. You don't need to? No, I saw it. I know what it's all about. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, Chris in Cleveland, does Ope think gay people talk like that because they're gay? What do you mean, like gay? Uh, well, the, the obvious gay. Uh, the obvious kind of gay thing that stereotypical gay talk. The, 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 it's it's weird because yeah, I think that's genetic. Now that I'm now that I'm older, I finally decided it's okay to have uh, you know uh, gay people in my life. Yeah, I, I got two uh, two two friends are gay, yeah. and they don't talk like that though. Uh, really? They're with each other, and they don't. Not really, no, no. Maybe yeah. every once in a while. Yeah, but it's not the over the top. I don't think I could be friends with over the top gay. I'll be honest with you. Over the top gay, flamboyant no, no, gay. That's rough. Like that fashion show last night, gay. Like there's no I, way. That's I where could... I, I finally accepted that it's okay to like be friends with gay people, but it yeah. can't be over the top gay. That's that's where I'm at right now. Last night they were so over the top gay that if you sucked half of a cock, right, they would be like, oh, you're straight. Oh, stop. <laughs> like, if you just put half the head and half the shaft in your mouth, uh-huh. they would look at you and go, you're so straight. What do you think, though? Do people um, talk gay on purpose, or they, or that's just how they talk? I think that's part of know. the gay... It's like it's like uh, they say the, the, you know, the, the black dialect, where it's like black people have a certain way of speaking where where if you didn't see the person yeah. the majority of the time just listening to the voice you would know if it was if the person was oh, black so, or and and gay is the same thing it's sort of a you sort of have it but then you push it a little bit yeah that's yeah what I'm yeah thinking. i'm thinking that's, that's what the, the answer deal is. Chris, i think yeah it's just this effeminate kind of speech right i don't know what it is let me go to charlie in tampa charlie, charlie. hey what's going on boys hey, hey. Man. Hey, listen, man, my nephew, when he was about six years old, uh, he started playing with some dolls and Hello Kitty and all that other garbage. <laughs> all that other garbage. Oh, boy. Yeah, so then his mom, his mom took him to a psychologist, and uh, first they thought he was kind of conformant. You know, he didn't want to be a little boy. So Halloween would roll around, and all my sons were gangsters, like Al Capone gangsters, and he wanted to be a flapper from the 20s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, it was funny, bro. He, I see him walking the house, and there he is like a flapper, you know, selling cigarettes and shit. So anyway, he finally came out of the closet about 12 years old, and now he's into ballet. He doesn't sound gay. He's a great kid, but I agree with you, OB. Where I definitely know, uh, from, what, from what I know, my experience is that you're born gay, man. It's sad that you had to say he's a. Gr- you said he's gay, but he, but he's a great kid. <laughs> say yeah, 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 it's all right. No, I didn't mean it like that, man. Like you know, I, I teach, and I also see a lot of kids who we suspect they're gay, and they have a lot of problems, a lot of emotional problems. Right. You know, they get into trouble and shit like that. But this kid is who he is, and he's just you know. I don't, I, I, whatever, man. You caught me, I guess. You know, by saying that he's gay. He's, he's is, is, uh, it sounds like you're supportive. Is his uh, parents supportive? Yeah, well, without a doubt. It's like they even That's got good, gay man. role models for him, man. They, they got, got what? Guys in my neighborhood, they have gay role models for him. Believe it or not, man. The guys in my neighborhood. You know, I guess, you know, they're role models. And that's the way his mom puts it. He's like, these guys are role models for him. Is he like, uh, is he like a little uh, Billy Elliot? 
<laughs> is that what he's no. doing? The ballet no, and the man. dance yeah. and the. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. That movie, <laughs> like, yeah, that, that play. Yeah, but he's, you know, again, man. Yeah, he, you know, he was like, uh, he auditioned for the Nutcrack up in in, in, in Manhattan. Man. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Bro. Yeah, I, I don't know, mean to I laugh, Charles. Oh, man, no, that's audition cool. for the Nutcrack. Because I'm still that asshole from Long Island that was so close-minded to everything. Oh, now that I'm older, I'm trying to open my eyes finally. Yeah, no, he's a great kid, man. My Open son, your ass. Oh, your <laughs> eyes. <laughs> you know, my son had issues with it because he was a little, like, you know, taken back from it. But now it's, you know, it's, it's you know, he doesn't want to play Hello Kitty or anything like when he comes over. But he's, uh. Right. It is know, what it is. Uh, yeah. How do you I come out at 12? Wow. Yeah, I don't That's know. That's like, ah, I'm done. No pussy for me. I won't even try it. it. Yeah, you got to at least try it. You got to try the broccoli. How, how do you know you don't like fucking seafood? Yeah. At least fucking... You might like it. You gotta at least try it before you decide. Brussels sprouts, whatever. You, I, got a, you, I got a sister. She hates seafood. I go, have you ever tried? She goes, no. I go, say, well, then how do you know you hate it? Parents say it all the time. You go, like, when you're a kid, you go, no, I don't like Brussels sprouts. And they're like, have you tried them? And you go, no, I just know I wouldn't like them. And it's like, well, have you tried pussy? Right. No, I, ew. You know what? I'm trying to make that argument, but we, we've never tried cock. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that might be. Uh, all right, you might have a point there. All right, man, we're with you. Try <laughs> God, because the twelve-year-old, how does he know? We're how saying you've you never tried it. That means everyone should try it. How do you know you don't like the, it. the cock? <laughs> the cock. I guess you just know. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, made out with this guy, Mark in Chicago. Made, uh, this show is getting really fucking gay. We should be trading places without Q. I'm sure they're doing oh. manly radio right now. Yes, Mark in Chicago. What's up? Yeah, uh, I made out with a guy while I was going in on drugs <laughs> once uh, in an effort to get more drugs. Uh, Rich it Voss? Was, <laughs> it was so much more disgusting than I would have ever thought. I <laughs> beard, and I almost threw up in his mouth. Um, ah, you yeah, still wanted to get high. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So you made out with a guy. <laughs> yeah. With and and as, as a straight guy, guy it yeah. was so disgusting to you. It, I, I thought it'd be bad, but I didn't think it'd be as bad as it was. Like, <laughs> it, it hurt me to the core, you know? <laughs> it really did, huh? Yeah, I felt dirty when I went home. Are you off the drugs? Oh, yeah. You yeah. off the gay? Well, Are you off the gay is what, yeah, that's the question. You off the gay? What drug was it that you, uh, that you went gay for? Ecstasy, acid, and heroin. Jeez. Wow, all at the but same time? At least it wasn't for, yeah. like, yeah, you're lucky all you had to do nah, is like, nah, suck some you... Centrum Silvers or something. Yeah, yeah, that would just be embarrassing. Some fucking over-the-counter <laughs> shit. From any I mean, what, uh, dude. Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, good, yeah. How do you get that? How do you get that uh, from just kissing? Come on, something else happened. He'd either suck your dick or... No, 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 that was it. Um, It was in a party, and I was trying to get, like, one more pill of ecstasy out with him, and uh, he was a gay Russian ecstasy dealer. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> the story gets better, man. Yeah. <laughs> he was gay door. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He's a big uh, guy. Hey, Bobby. Oh, hey, my God. That's hilarious. That is something. Uh, all right. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Bob in Jersey. Uh, Bob, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to do it to you. Sorry. No, nah, go ahead. You can. Uh, he's, uh, he hung up. He goes, didn't you kiss a, um, a guy when you're picking up marshmallows with your ass? Oh, gee. <laughs> Look, that man, was a, that was a fraternity hazing. I was eighteen, going on nineteen, and um, yeah, it was really gay. And I and I wanted to like just stand up and go, "This is really gay." Yeah, but I was too scared. I wanted to get off that cock and say, "This and that, is really gay." And that rival frat house needed to be bombed by those fucking marshmallows. Oh man. yeah. A lot of that fraternity hazing things we've talked about it before. It just seems very gay. It's a little rough because, yeah. but on the other side is what's, what's it, gayer it, doing on, that? On, 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 on the other <laughs> side is uh, parties with fucking sorority girls. Yeah, keg parties. Well, but you you have to go through the fucking the the gay obstacle why course. Why do they put you through the gay obstacle I, course? I, I don't know. Just so you can get to the fucking uh, light at the end of the tunnel. I don't know. Other fraternities were w way worse. Dark than brown, us. smelly tunnel. <laughs> there, there, there were rumors of other fraternities. I don't. I swear to God, I have no idea if it's true. But yeah, with like fucking um uh like uh wax lips. Oh, you had a blow the guy with wax lips or yeah, something. I swear to you, it wasn't my fraternity. Well, I would hope not. I swear to fucking God. But oh. I mean, we. We did get paddled, like just weird gay shit. Yeah, like, this is really gay. Who? 
And I think it just started where one brother just happened to be gay. gay years and years ago and had so much power to change everything. <laughs> one, one evil gay guy. One I'm evil thinking, gay guy. Why else? That's funny. I'm like not just talking paddling. for my fraternity. I mean, I could, I could, we could do an hour of radio with fraternity guys going, yeah, man, we had to do some weird gay yeah. shit. Gayish shit, in quotes. Yeah. This, uh, the whole paddling thing is very homoerotic. Like, wait, the guy has to paddle the other guy. Like an animal house. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Yeah, that's weird. And they're, and they're all that looking at like, like they're turned on by it. Well, you have the blindfold on, so. Yeah. And then you, you know one of the brothers had to fucking volunteer to be paddle guy. So what's yeah. that about? And he's probably hard as a rock in his pants. Oh, you think you, in the meeting, they're like, oh, right. yeah, well, I guess I'll be. All right. If no one else uh, is going to do it, I'll be paddle guy this year. If no one else wants to paddle the guy's asses, right. I'll do it. Right. The only ones in college that aren't gay are the nerds. The nerds. Yeah, even the jocks have to shower together and just soap yeah. up their big mules. And <laughs> ugh, I hate that. Soap them up. Just, yeah, could you help me out? Could you get my back? Yeah, no problem. Just men washing each other. Never, ever felt comfortable. I, Midnight dude, when Express. I, when I ran uh, cross country, we had a guy on the team. He would made everybody so fucking depressed in the locker room. Like giant cock? Fucking giant cock. Man. And then you're you're doubting yourself. You're like, fuck, uh, it's supposed to, it's supposed to be like that. And uh, I I'm cursed with and I know I don't have a small he one. He wasn't fluffed. But at the time I'm thinking, fuck, maybe I do have a small one. Oh, Jesus. Giant horse cock. And he he would be oblivious to it, just showering. Dude, I was 13 and went to juvie hall and had a shower with two 18-year-olds. Oh, boy. I'm going to talk about fucking not knowing what a dick should look like. <laughs> I thought mine was the norm. Just like fuzz and <laughs> just a little mushroom cap. And <laughs> These guys had a hang. <laughs> there was some that, arc. There yeah. was some arc to it. There was some arc. Yours was it, just straight out. Just straight out, and <laughs> they had these big fucking bushes that were scary to me. <laughs> Yeah, showering with dudes is a fucking... I, I know that you're supposed to be not gay with that, but it's that's just, fucking gay. There's no way I would ever... I didn't do it in gym class. I didn't do it I, a, 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 at, at fucking... Look, at, at the gym when you're working out, after you get out of school. I did, look, there's no it, reason. It's, it's a great bit that we could get into, because, you know, I, evil gay guy in the fraternity system, long, long time ago... <laughs> Right, and also uh, the architect for fucking locker rooms. Why? Why do you have showers that are open like that? Yeah, they didn't open have to. Shower. They didn't have to have that design, but it was probably some evil gay architect. I bet it's yeah. the same guy, Mr. Brady. <laughs> yeah, there you go, <laughs> Mr. Brady, architect. My, he designed them all. My high school, it was just a, a wide open room with a bunch of showers. Like he didn't yeah. have to have that design. No, so who that. came up with that? And the smallest, evil gay guy. the smallest yeah. shower head. Ever, just so there's more room to see cock. You, know, <laughs> you can't get a good <laughs> fucking flow of water over you to maybe distort the look. Oh, people don't think you went to a modeling show last night. They think you're uh, just uh, talking about a Seinfeld episode. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no, that I that I, I took a picture of my uh, fiance. I clipped it out. Yeah. It's my fiance. She died. <laughs> yeah. and, and he said, you want to dance? <laughs> I'm on the inside, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> this phone call could only come from Boston. Joe, go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey man. Uh, when I was about 10, uh, my friend and I lived across the street. We had never kissed a girl before. She's like, fuck it, let's make out. So <laughs> we're, out of my, we're out of my front lawn, and right as we start making out, his fucking dad across the street throws it. His dad's in a wheelchair. Throws open the window, goes, faggot! <laughs> Slams the window. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. You you kissed uh, you one of your friends just because you you wanted to kiss something? Yeah, we had never kissed a girl before, so we're like, what's it like? So you know. Well, it ain't like kissing a guy. Yeah, no but he doesn't. Being boys. He doesn't know at that how did, age. How did, how did it feel for you? Uh I don't know. <laughs> it was kind of we we kind of we had a hard time committing. Did you close your eyes? I don't remember. I think so. <laughs> oh, God. I was kissing, like, girls, though, at, like, seven. Like, See, at seven I... in the basement of our apartment complex. It was like, I was making out with this little Mexican get... girl from fucking, she was from New Mexico. And How'd you, uh, how'd you get so lucky? I don't know. This chick was, like, the fucking, she was the project's whore Jesus. at seven. She was just kissing, and then and then she went with this other kid, Keith, and started making out with him. I, I, yeah. I was all pissed. I was all bummed out. I'm one of seven, and then my parents brought it. And that, by the way, continued up until like my adult life. 
of just b being upset. Like, I learned at seven that chicks fucking suck. You'll make out with them, and then they fucking make it out with your friend, and, and you just felt crushed. I felt that feeling at seven. You really Jeez. wanted just to be in love. Yeah. You're Something romantic. went horribly wrong. Something yeah. went amiss. Something it went was awry. A romantic. He yeah. was a guy that just wanted one girl to love him his yes. entire life. That's but what happened. Unfortunately, and the whores out there ruined it. Too you much always shit. have they girls, too. They wrecked me. You never really stay off the market too long. Like, nah, I stayed off the true. market for like... 15 16 years that's wow that's wild and just i mean one girl cheated on me and i just went and fucked anything i could in the ass <laughs> and just <laughs> yes. fucking suck tits and whores and prostitutes and asian massage parlors yeah you're just all in yeah you, you i just said your fuck them but yeah. you're a romantic you liked uh but well, it, got, yeah. it, it got action early I, what i was gonna say I, I was one of seven and then my parents were always fucking i don't know opening their house to other people and once somewhere we had a black girl it was just the weirdest Whoa, wow thing. Environment. What happened? What do you mean? With yeah. the black girl? Yeah. Ah, nothing. Nothing? No, she was part of the Fresh Air Fund. Oh, God, where they well, ship you, out. Yeah. You, you bring them in for the summer so they could like hang out at a beach or something. There's a big thing in New York City. I don't know where. I don't even remember don't her name, but she was part of our family, I think, for I, off and on for the summer. I don't even know if she lived with us. I don't I know if that's uh, national, is it? Because I know in New York. It was they, a local thing. Man. They would do that. They would have the Fresh Air Fund, and they would take inner city kids. And uh, these suburban Long Island f families would adopt them for a summer. And it was called the Fresh Air Fund. It was, and it was part of... Uh, it was, oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, that's all I... I it's also I, called Get no, Your House it, Spray Painted Fund. It, it, it was part of uh, the, the, the Catholic religion, because then you brought your black to the, uh, the <laughs> big... your black. You brought your black to the big uh, Catholic pool. The church shindig? To the big Catholic pool. Oh, oh. I, th I think it was at the nunnery, if I'm not mistaken, on uh, 25A, I think. Or they went to Camp Alvernia for the day. I, I can't remember. This, uh, this is a memory... I haven't thought about oh, it in Camp years. Alvernia. But all the uh, the local Catholics that had the fresh air kids, we all brought our blacks to the pool for the day. Yeah. Which was so weird because you had these ridiculously white families and everyone had a black. How fucking overworked was the lifeguard? <laughs> Holy shit. It was one of those pools that... Must have been a constant whistle blowing and a splash from the lifeguard <laughs> and, and some fucking CPR. And then oh, again, oh my God! And then everyone was like, dis <laughs> everyone was displaying their black, like, look, see, we're not racist because we got a black. Oh, <laughs> we got a black. It was just so. Oh my God! It was so phony, man. Yeah. I remember even as a little kid going, "This is a, such horseshit." It's shit. just to look good in front of your right, other church society right, you people. Knew, and, I, yeah. I was young enough, and I, I knew. These people are going to be sh shipped back to the projects, and we'll never hear from them again. There's going to be no communications going. There's going to be no letter writing or phone calls. It's just, this was all for just show. Yeah. In my in my it, it ridiculously white community, like no, see, look, we fucking do the right. How thing. How old were look, you? We, yeah, we... really, I, uh, probably uh, less than twelve. Less and than you weren't, twelve. And you weren't you weren't in into pussy at that time. Uh, I, I, certainly I was. Oh, you were, but you weren't into but the black point, pussy. No, you that, that was about scary as shit. Frightening scary, at twelve. Scary. Are you kidding me? I was scared of that when I was in my fucking twenties. Still got the fresh air fund, huh? They do. Like, huh? see the little white kid with the black kid and the. No, my that. my point though, we had so many kids always around. Like Anthony was always finding girls he could make out and stuff. I think we just didn't have anywhere to go. I hung around a lot of whores. No, but you, had, but you had room. You could go into a basement or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was, there was well, nowhere it was an apartment to go in my complex. House. Plus, the down there, the super was probably jacking in the corner watching little kids make out. Plus, <laughs> the fact that my mom just, you know, did loops around the house because she was convinced one of us was dying of something. So we never had time to ourselves. <laughs> wow. I, that's why wow. I'm a light sleeper, man. <laughs> so many nights waking up because my uh, my mom is in the house? my mom was right above me, seeing if I was still breathing. Really, that's, that's eerie, fucking crazy. So to this day, man, a little fucking pin yeah, drop, and I'm up. Eerie, I'm up. Jesus, yeah, that. Uh, I was always like, even in California, there was always somebody that just. Mm, mm, some I'm so jealous chick. of that. Fucking, I, had a, I had a late start, dude. I'm I'm fucking jealous of that horseback and, riding. And then it didn't help that at 18 I still looked like I was 13 years old. So, uh, did the girls like want to be your friend because you were like, oh always. look at always? But then it changed when I turned 18, and I sort of actually I, I exaggerate a little bit, but I looked like a 10th grader finally when I was a senior in high school. <laughs> so then the fucking 10th graders wanted me big time. Man. Oh, that's good. And then then Which I was on, I was finally on my way. Yeah, finally.
Nice. My mother has a dog, has kids in the house now. Really? For subs yeah, she brings like. Uh, Why would she do that? Because you get money. Yeah, you oh, get you? cash. It has nothing to do with love. Oh, you with get, being you nice. Get the or... She gets your a little cash. Bill. Yeah, she, but the, she brings in some hot. Like she had this Brazilian chick to come over. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this fucking chick was ridiculous. My hands were shaking <laughs> at the table. <laughs> I actually sat next to her instead of my wife. <laughs> I just wanted to grab her hand and draw 200 on it. Like. 200 real meet me in the bathroom <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Is that what you do? <laughs> I, Write it on your hand and kind of yeah, just like uh, cuz you know oh god She was and she's she was legal. She was like eight, 18. Yeah, she was there for three months and she was How fucking, close did you get to doing anything with her? I, I was I'm married. This was like a year ago. Oh <laughs> So how close did you get to doing it pretty close? <laughs> I <laughs> Wow <laughs> Jesus. Teen Brazilian girl bikini. Dude, I can't That's even. That's you got to put in. This chick was a fucking an 11. Wow. An 11 living in my mom's house in this little room on a twin bed. So why don't you bring her to New York to be a maid or something? I actually gave her my CD, but she wanted nothing to do. I just wanted some clout with this chick. Right, right. She yeah. went to bed in the room, and my, we had this other room. And then there was a, <laughs> there was a couch. I, I fell asleep on the couch like I was watching TV. Because I just wanted her to come out and go, are you awake? Oh, uh, was your mind just going nuts? I had one leg out, so my like skin was showing. Jeez. Yeah, dude, I I was fucking. You were hoping she would go to the bathroom in the night with was, her little panties so on. So she was this initiated. close to being Opie's mom and her just waking up with me over her. <laughs> right. Are you okay, dude? If she would have initiated, you would have been in deep trouble. You right? would have been in trouble, right? I don't know if you could not. If if she had came, she was so smoking hot, if she had come out and whispered, in the middle of the night in panties, my room. yeah, yeah, and and kind of like saw me on the couch, like as she's going to the bathroom, and turned to me and then slowly reached down and grabbed her crotch, oh my god, and went back in. I how do you fucking not? What do if that? you woke up? Yeah, to her, she kind of pulled your dick uh, out the pant leg dude. and just started sucking your cock, and you woke up to it. Would you be like, hey, I'm married? Hey, no, I'd I'd grab her mouth and say shh. <laughs> Shut the fuck! Like a Navy SEAL sneaking up behind the fucking person they're trying to rescue. Like, like that big German in fucking Saving Private Ryan when he's stabbing that kid. Yeah. Shh. Shh. As you oh. just th slowly thrust your dick in his uh, his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. How's your well, fashion show? Hey, fashion show really <laughs> <laughs> turned me around last night. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you know what, Bobby? I got. You know what? You got I, a video of something? No, I got to show. Oh, you I was gonna say. I got to show you this pussy though. Oh, I, I seen it on your tweet yesterday. No, you didn't see this. Yeah, I saw that. I saw it. Yeah, it, that doesn't really fuck with me, dude. Uh oh, that's because disgusting. it's not. It's not. Ugh. Oh, wow, that's fucking nasty. It's good, it, you right? You know why? It's not. It's. It looks like a piece. Uh, like that's like elephantitis. That shit don't bug me. Yeah. Why does it not, bother you? Because it has to be <laughs> wet. <laughs> There's something about wet. Uh, it's the the picture assholes I, and pussies. It's a picture I tweeted yeah. yesterday. There's a massive yeah, girl. fucking cam out waiting for me to puke. Oh, oh, I, know. I know a massive growth uh, hanging off her uh, pussy. It's lip. fucking nasty, but that's like elephantitis. I can look at a guy with that tumor shit, and it does nothing to me. Right. So you it's want just wet assholes. Blah. So so how how uh, close did it get Ooh. with the Brazilian chick? Not in my mind. <laughs> well, your mind is going nuts. And my, Any guy's mind would go nuts. But in my mind, it was fucking. I did. I slept on the couch. I felt like a creep too. Now, if, what, if didn't your wife know? Why are you sleeping on the couch? <laughs> Does she just accept it? No, because they're fucking dummies. They don't give a shit after a while either. You know, she's like, ah, fucking, go ahead, stupid. She's gonna reject you. She knew it would happen in reality. <laughs> I'd be out there with my tip of my dick hanging out of my boxer shorts, and she'd scream and run up to my mother's room. Your son. Had this car gone, I have to go back to Brazil. <laughs> and I'd be arrested. My mom would lose all the fucking money, lose her house, because oh, I'm a fucking creep. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, that, that's my biggest fantasy is sleeping, too. Like, sleeping and have oh god that just sleeping and having some girl like play doctor some naive girl that doesn't know about dick yet come over and just take your old bald fat man <laughs> cock out oh bald fat man <laughs> cock jesus hey, let me uh let, let me say hi to tom in jersey tom hey there tom hey guys how's it going hey man hey hey Opie, you ever got the whole buffalo thing wrong your mom sent that black guy to make sure you weren't dead Jesus, dude. Oh, wow. It's a great line, wow. and it could linger longer. Huh? You know that story, right? Yeah, yeah. Ant knows, but oh, when I was man. living in Buffalo, I was stupid enough. 
I, I, I was stupid enough to keep my uh, my door to my shitty apartment unlocked. Oh, yeah. And I was in a bad neighborhood. Wasn't making any money. But the, the place was a secure brownstone, but someone was moving out, so they had the front Ironic. doors open. The double doors open so they can move their fucking couch and all that shit out. Yeah. And I'm sleeping in the middle of, uh, I think it was like a weekend afternoon, and uh, I woke up because a black guy in a tight hoodie was literally an inch above my face. A black oh, fuck. <laughs> and it turns out I was... I didn't move. Ugh. I'm like, what are you doing here? Is the best I could come up with because I just woke up. He realized something, jumped up and left, and and didn't take anything from my apartment. At first, I thought he took my wallet because usually where I put my wallet, there was nothing there. But I but it turned out to be somewhere else. I forget now because it's been years. And then I ran out. Of, I ran out to try to like get a, a glimpse of this guy because he was definitely now on the run. And I saw him running down the fucking road. Jesus. Turns out I don't know if it's connected, but it turns out there was a a, a black rapist in the neighborhood. And he so, thought you were a girl because you looked well, so I had young. Long, I had long hair too. You had long hair. So he was he was getting really close to see. I think. I think this oh, is this God. is how it played out in my mind. Realized I was a guy. And that was it. I Man. think. Thank God you don't sleep on your stomach. Holy oh. dude, it was the most horrifying thing ever. It'd be funny if just both of you scream at the same time when he realizes you have a cock. It's like a comedy. Really? Ah! Ah! Like Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> but there was there was a rapist, a black rapist. Fuck. The, I wonder the, if anybody's ever been, like been like guys been raped by mistake. <laughs> Oh God! Just, just an accident, ass fucking. Oh, imagine the poor rapist. <laughs> it was, it was did, did fucking you horrifying. That, did you see that rape, the rape commercial I posted yesterday? No. The creepiest rape commercial I've ever does seen. The voice, rape commercial. Does the audio play well for the radio? Yeah. Or, or you have to see the the whole thing? Nah, yeah, the audio play. It's right, fucking creepy. Why don't we do it after the break then? Because we've been talking for over an hour here. Uh, I've never seen a rape commercial. And this one, the right. first one that I've seen is just creepy. It's, it's Robert Kelly on Twitter if you can't wait for us, but we'll play it after the break. By the uh, way, uh, Mubarak left Cairo. He's in, he's still in Egypt. He's at uh, what uh, apparently is his summer place. Really? So he, Which he, is far away uh, from the it's, protesters. It's whatever. Yeah, I, I don't think he wants to be in Cairo when all this is going on. So, uh, so there's no, not, not going to be any storming of a place where they can then drag him out. So obviously but, um, that message was taped, giving him time to get the fuck. That message else. was so taped, the one that they played last night. He right. he was probably gone then, but uh, right, right. Uh, yeah. All right, Aunt, great job with the modeling thing. Oh, that was uh, it. Was a lot of fun um, to to just see that world, that whole world. Oh my god! More with Bob Kelly. Stay there. <laughs> 